homeless company. I'm an integrative personal trainer, a mind, body health, wellness life coach, and a massage energy therapist. I work with people on traditional training, yoga, qigong, which tai chi kung fu come from, and also that's one of the four original forms of Chinese medicine. I provide massage therapy services and energy therapy, real variety of things I do. Uh, also, I work with people on how they eat. I'm honored to be part of this today, teaching you Qigong, which will be for immune system, stress management, a lot of other things. Basics, thing to think about. I'm a big believer. I'll probably do a post about going barefoot because it's really essential. It's helpful to go barefoot. You're building your immune system. You're working on balance. You're stimulating all the proprioceptors on the bottom of your feet. So it really works on your whole body among other things. So that's an option, but I'd recommend it. Loose fitting clothes. If you have not done Qigong before, it's very gentle. We're going to do a lot of repetition because it's considered a form of Chinese medicine. We repeat the movement a lot over and over again. You listen to your body. You should be fine. You can always friend me on Facebook, Steve Gutman afterwards and i also have a page for mind body dynamics we're going to start with wave breathing which is breathing through the diaphragm let's bring one hand to the belly one hand to the chest doing what you can to focus on breathing in and out to your diaphragm belly going in and belly going out lack of movement from your chest with Qigong, Tai Chi, Yoga, we tend to talk about fire point. That's the roof of the mouth behind the front teeth. That's a really powerful central area where energy collects from the front and back of your body. Very powerful place. Much as we can, we breathe through the nose. You want your lips loose. You want the jaw, mouth, everything relaxed. One of those essential things we discuss with Qigong, Tai Chi, martial arts, we could say is you get power from being relaxed. So that's a great element of Qigong. Excellent. We're going to get a little music on. Music, my
starting up brain stem up here traveling down the body it really is very effective for having an effect on our parasympathetic nervous system which helps us with relaxation gets a much better control of digestion elimination and other things so think of qigong as an active form of medicine but also a moving meditation that's it nice and easy thoughts into your mind don't force them out just let them go that Qigong is great by itself but as a yoga teacher I've been doing yoga I'll be 60 in a few weeks now. I've been doing yoga since I was 12 so I'm a big believer lover of yoga yoga is great by itself but you can combine the two also as a person who's worked out my life and like I say I'm a trainer I'll tell you that Qigong along with yoga either one or both together fit great in a traditional workout a lot of overlapping benefits and then complementary. Now we're going to change things. Another variation of Pebble in the Pond. This is it. Very different. Kind of like a very strange cross stroke. Exhale forward, inhale back. If you get confused with when to breathe, just remember to breathe. Once again, let your self be relaxed. No tension in the face, because if your jaw, say, is tight, it travels into your neck, potentially into your shoulders. And it's gentle, but we can burn, say, two to three hundred calories or more in our Qigong sessions. So it's not like a lot of other workouts, more calories burning, but that's not the emphasis. A lot of repetition, a lot of movement. And now we're going to move on. This is called the Proud Tiger. Crashes through the waves. Big claw hands. Notice how you feel mentally, physically, and emotionally. 
Steady breathing. My own papa. My own papa. I lay up a papa. When the worry leads from you, mom, a chalo. My own papa. I lay up a papa. Get your kids from my up until your mana. When the body leaks, finally, one of the shallow. They are, they are, they are no one, and they are. They are no one of one, the mushila bumpa puna. I'm going to change things. Let's get a little clearer. And now this one, we're going to do, this is called Parting Clouds. Get the rotation in your arms. See how my arms are going. Get to the lung and heart meridian a lot. Now you should be sufficiently warmed up. Hopefully your energy is really nice. Probably, I'm thinking. Okay, now this one's similar. You're not doing the rotation of the hands. This one is called Open the Gates. So they're great by themselves, but we're going to get them to be a warm up for something else. See so about bringing the whole arms together. Notice the stretch of the shoulders, the rhomboids. Back behind the shoulders. Once again, steady your breath. clearing and we are going to get to this is called spinal cord breathing so let me show you what's going to go on you're going to get a deep inhale arms up 
elbows can be up. Your hands are bent. Not making fists, but they're closed a little bit. Elbows are above the shoulders. You're going to come down. You're going to bring your buttocks back and then followed by your legs. So bending back, kind of like if you were downhill skiing. And then inhale, come up, inhale, come up, keep the arms together, elbows above the shoulders, and come back. I'm just showing you from a side view, attempting to bring your elbows together, which you won't get there, but it's a great stretch there. So, inhale up, exhale down, inhale back up, and back. That's it. Mm. Feels great. I did some of this this morning, some Qigong with my yoga and my workout for a run. But this is nice. This is nice once again. And I'm blessed to be presenting it to all of you out there. When you do this, you just bring your head back a little bit. Take it even slower. One is called energy moving like steam. Steady flow. Let yourself go. This is all once again about being relaxed. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. change to push in the breeze, getting a big motion, rotation, notice how that feels. Before about the Dantian with the uh, Pebble in the Palm. <laughs> Mm. 
தெரியும் to one final thing let's say one final movement and get a little relaxation at the end this is called the bird spreads of feathers notice how you feel on the sides of the body this is where we supposedly hold on to anxiety so this is a nice cheap motion to go through The stretch, you notice how the hands are, bottom hand, palm is facing parallel to the floor, top hand, palm is facing up, attempt to get a little bent. Back and forth. Just do a few more. Let's go one more. A little clearing. We're going to finish. This is called Enthroft Music. Pebble, rather, this one is called Bamboo in the Wind. The legs are together, hands are by the sides. Your eyes can close. You're simply going to gently rock side to side. About breathing, becoming slower. Breathing, becoming even deeper. And there you go. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for watching me on the Wellness Gala. Visit wellnessgala.com for more information and stay healthy. We finish like this. Be well.